medical errors and misdiagnosis are the third leading cause of death in the United States and has been since 2010. I'm currently fighting two battles. One for my life with cancer, and the other is the hospital information system. Many Americans are realizing that health coverage is not health care. We've got to make a distinction between the way we pay for health care and what health care really is. And we've got to stop confusing the two. Most Americans are not aware that they own their health records. Most don't even know where they exist. My own records should be available to me, you would think, and I should be able to share them with whomever and whenever I choose. If I can do that and beat cancer, I'll be a happy man. Doctors, physicians, medical professionals are all patients and want a better solution. I want my data. I want to work with my physician. We don't choose not to share with them health. They look at some of our most private parts, but they can't do their job well if they don't have access to your complete comprehensive medical records. You know, at one point they had me on 42 Medicaid, 42 pills a day, most of which had counterindications with each other because I had four separate physicians. They were all prescribing things and they were all saying they couldn't do anything because of one of the other doctors. So if you get them all in one room, they can bicker it out and we'll come up with a plan. Now the funny part is, that never happened. So who is to blame? The other gift that came in, the Medicare Modernization Act. So there was a safe harbor from the kickback statute given to these pharmaceutical benefit managers, these middlemen. Our government, a long time ago, gave companies called pharmacy benefit managers the right to receive monetary remuneration. And these companies, pharmacy benefit managers, are the same people that put brand name drugs on formularies. The formulary is the list of drugs the insurance company is agreeing to pay for. They don't call them what they are. We should be calling them kickbacks. People all across America are making radical health decisions based upon their lack of access to health insurance. But I knew at 24, I had a choice. I had to either cut off a leg or continue in a path to where I would have to be responsible for the cost. Most families are just one major, one major life crisis away from being, you know, poverty. And that's not right. Fernando basically taking the baby and making sure that it was alive. The paramedics came with the ambulance and they've been working on them ever since and they life-flighted the baby out. The parents refused to go to the hospital. I mean, I'm looking at the mom. She's spitting blood while she's walking barefoot with a limp. And they're refusing service. I mean, the only reason I can see me think that is they don't have insurance. 